Rob, penalty shoot out defeat tonight and out of the Papa John's trophy. How are you feeling after that one? Obviously disappointed because we wanted to try and win the game. Uh, uh, after we got ourselves into a good position and being one the up to concede in the manner that we did uh, was frustrating to say the least. Um, it was a poor, poor goal to concede and we've not been like that this season. We don't give away things cheaply and we did there. So we've got to learn from that and be better. Um, there was obviously not much in the game, I didn't think. Uh, the conditions were testing at times. First half of the win was quite strong, so it was difficult to sort of build and get control. If we had to go a little bit longer, the ball could swirl up in the air and come back about 20 or 30 yards. But obviously they had the same thing in the second half as well. Um, probably allowed us to get a bit more pressure on. And um, yeah, and like I said, once we went 1-0 up, it was disappointing to concede the, uh, the equaliser so soon. And, and then towards the end, both teams, I suppose, were pushing. They were looking to counter because of, again, because of the conditions. We probably had a bit more territory and got in some decent areas, but, but didn't really work the keeper enough. And um, and yeah, when he went to penalties, they, yeah, they they took them very very well, and keepers made a couple of really good saves. And with the introduction of H and, and Stevens, the, the game sort of opened up a little bit in the final third. Do you feel maybe you could have and, and perhaps should have won it in the final minutes? Well, we had we had one or two chances, but they could argue as well on the counter. They had they had one or two as well, and um, uh, so nah, look overall in the night, I don't, we were far from our best but like I've said to the lads then there's probably there's a few lads there that haven't had as much minutes haven't had as many minutes and so um, yeah we wanted more rhythm than we actually got and showed um, but in terms of getting 90 minutes from a, from a good number of players there that, that ticked the box so that was really positive we didn't lose the game of football in 90 minutes so um, you know it's it's not a disappointment in terms of losing the game in, in, in a horrible manner just some bits to learn from and be better from and I think the lads that have come through the 90 minutes will be better for it as well because you know all our focus now goes into one competition um, and we need everyone ready and uh, you know we've got now looking forward we've got you know approaching now seven uh, seven games in about three and a half weeks coming up so to get 90 minutes into a lot of the lads there tonight so so people are ready if they're called upon um, was, was was a good thing I suppose. I imagine it can be quite tough to put in a fantastic performance after after not playing for a few weeks. So, as you say, it really is important for these games. So, should should someone pick up an injury over the coming weeks, one of those boys will be ready. Yeah, and we want everyone to be ready. So, you know, a lot of the lads that have played tonight haven't had as many minutes. They have had minutes, but not as many. Um, they train really, really well, but nothing uh, prepares you for a game like playing a game. Um, you know, and as much as we can do in training, it's not. It's never the same. So we want trying everyone, and uh, you know, to to have everyone ready and at a level uh, of match sharpness and being prepared and ready. So uh, tonight would have helped with that. Um, but look, the goal first and foremost was to try and win and go through, and, and you know we haven't done that ultimately. Um, definitely some areas that we could be better in. Um, but like I said, like positive tonight, Josh March off and running as well with a goal. Um, and, and, and a number of players getting 90 minutes under their belts as well. So, so we've got to take that. We've got to take that. Looking forward now. You've, you've got a weekend off and then straight back into League Two action with a trip to Harrogate. Yeah, that's what I just said to the lads now. So, all our focus goes into um, to Harrogate in a week's time, and, and we're in one competition, one competition only now. So we've got to make sure that uh, that everyone's focused, which they are. Everyone's with it. Everyone's fit. Everyone's resilient and strong, and um, and full of confidence and. Um, you know the group. The group seems to be in that mindset and, and ready at the moment. So we've got to keep that going. Be consistent. We've got to be. I keep using the word relentless in our work and our training. And uh, yeah, next Tuesday, Harrogate. That's the focus.